Yeah, it's taking you back in the day, and would love to hear from you. Get on your favorite song, Frankie Darcel with you. So I've got a co-host in the studio with me. It is always good to uh, have someone take over the controls from time to time. I don't know if I'll let him take the big comfy, comfy, comfy chair yet behind the big mic, but he's, he's good to be in the studio. Dr. Height, Superintendent of Philadelphia Public Schools. Good afternoon to you, sir. Welcome to the studio. Good afternoon. Good Thank to you for have having me. Back. Absolutely. So you're on, you're on a good side right now. You're coming in to talk about the fact that you're hiring, not firing. That's so let's right. let's talk about the hiring process at Philadelphia Public Schools. And we are very excited to be announcing that we are hiring. This is a great time to become a teacher in Philadelphia. And after many tough choices, we are making millions in new investments across the district. Uh, but the most important investment we're making, Frankie, is that of having great teachers in every classroom. Mm -hmm. And we want to fill all vacancies before the end of this month. All right. So right now you're hiring for teachers. What type of teachers? Where can they apply? And what should the qualifications be? We're hiring all types of teachers, K-12. But in particular, we have high needs areas. Those areas are the areas of math, science, the languages, mm -hmm. and the individuals with special education mm -hmm. background. And individuals who are interested should visit jobs.philasd.org. Once again, that's jobs.philasd.org to find out more and to apply. Great. I'm going to make sure that we post it on my page as well at wdasfm.com. So if you happen to be driving and not writing, right now. You'll be able to go to the website to get that information. Um, so you're excited about this and the district moving forward and bringing teachers back into the classroom. Just how did you get from point A to point B at this point? So for those that are listening saying, oh, so the hiring now, how did that happen? Yeah, I mean, so as you, as you recall, Frankie, over the past several years, we've had to do some very hard things. And because of many of the budget challenges we've had, now we're beginning to stabilize a bit in the short term. And in, that, in, in this period of stabilization, we're in, a pos we're in a position now to hire individuals, and we're excited about that. And this is the first time that we've been able to be aggressive at this time of year to actually fill vacancies. Good. Um, not only are we filling vacancies, we're also making investments in schools, uh, new technologies. We have now, we're making investments in art and music. We have indicated that we plan to have a, a counselor and a nurse in every school oh, okay. um, next year. And so those are some of the investments that we're making, but we know the most important investment are great teachers. Good. We're going to be talking more in depth with Dr. Hyde on Sunday morning at 7 a.m. The new show is called Headlines. It's a two-way conversation with you, me, and my guests. You're going to hear more about this initiative and the hiring process. Uh, within Philadelphia Public Schools. So that hiring process will be for the 2016-2017 school year. That's correct. And we do know that great teachers make a difference. And just yesterday, we had a 78-year-old woman receive her diploma. I know how proud of her. Indeed. Was I. I got tears in my eyes. Yeah. I mean, she, she left school in Florida in 1955 and worked off of her GED. And then she found out about our education options program. and came back to get her diploma and she graduated yesterday. 78 years old, so it's never never too late. Never too never late. Never too late. Never too late. Now with that program, really quickly, just let people know if you didn't get your 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 diploma, want to come back and get it. What is the name of the program? That program is called Educational Options Program. It's called EOP and it's at several places uh, and individuals can go on our website and find yeah. out more information about that. Good. And now somebody give her a job. I'm just saying <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a job. I want my diploma. Well congratulations to her. Thank Thank you so much, Dr. Height. We'll hear more from you on Sunday headlines. Absolutely. Thank you so much. On the way, more Philly's best R&B and throwbacks, 105.3.